solve the following logarithmic equation. Log of x minus 10 minus log of x minus 6 equals log of 2. So there's no base written in here, so these are all common logarithms, so the base is understood to be 10. So just kind of keep that in mind in case we do have to switch into exponential form. But that might not be necessary because everything, every term here has a logarithm attached to it. And when that's the case, what we can do uh, is something similar that we do with exponentials and getting two logarithms set equal to one another and when we get those two set equal to one another, uh, as long as they're of the same base, you can just drop the logarithms effectively. So uh, when we have two logarithms subtracted, we can combine those into a single logarithm, uh, provided they're of the same base, where the arguments are divided. And then that's equal to log of 2. Now, since I have two logarithms of the same base, effectively what I can do is just drop the logarithms. Now, there's more going on. In fact, what you're actually doing is you're raising both sides as an exponent uh, whose base is equal to the base of the logarithm. And then there's a property that states that um, if, the, if you have an exponential with a logarithm of the same base, then those cancel out and you're just left with the argument. So it's probably easier just to think of this so uh, that all that's happening is the logarithms are getting dropped. x minus 10 over x minus 6 equals 2. Now, the next step uh, in solving is to try and get the variable by itself. Uh, and to do that, we need to get this variable out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x minus 6. Now the x minus 6 term cancels, and that leaves x minus 10 in the numerator on the left-hand side, and then 2 times x minus 6 on the right-hand side, for which I can distribute that 2, and that would give me 2x minus 12. And then uh, to get x by itself, I can next, uh, let's say we'll subtract x from both sides, and that leaves me with negative 10 equals x minus 12, and then I will add 12 to both sides, and that will get x by itself. Negative 10 plus 12 is 2, and that right there is only a potential solution. It's not guaranteed to be a solution until we check to make sure it doesn't lead to a negative argument on any of the original logarithms. So if we go back to the original problem and plug in x equals 2, I would have log of 2 minus 10 minus log of 2 minus 6. And 2 minus 10 is negative 8, which is a problem. And 2 minus 6 is negative 4, which is also a problem. But either one of these being negative is enough to say that this is not an actual solution. It was only introduced through the process of solving. So that removes our only potential solution. So that tells me that there is actually no solution to this equation at all.